Hello and welcome to Mad Goes Racing and today we are in Automobile Lister 2 having a look at the 1.2.0.5 update which I am going to run through uh, what's been updated and then I'm going to have a look at the uh, one piece of uh, new content I really didn't cover and we're going to have a look at a seasonal variation on a track and I'm going to do a one lap race around a track and sort of show you what it looks like hopefully choosing some nice lighting and nice weather that will make it look really pretty although I might fail dismally as I often do but here's the 1.2.0.5 change log general fixed championship editor not correctly loading session weather settings from the template stroke existing championship slots fixed error which resulted in saved custom championships having weather slots shifted by one slot fixed custom championship name not persisting when returning to editor fixed issue where session settings for round would be reset when changing track fixed time stroke weather progression settings from editor not properly persisting in saved custom championship Fixed Stock Car 2020 Race 2 Scoring UI and HUD added text to weather forecast entry of session race settings to indicate if real weather will use historic data or current live weather forecast Added warning dialogue on session straight race settings to notify if weather data cannot be found for a particular date time configuration. Added suspension setup display option to gameplay display, allowing users to choose between steps or rates for suspension setting input values. Main menu only cannot be modified in session. Further corrections to various vehicle and UI info inaccuracies. Physics and AI, further fine tuning to P1, GTE, GT3, GT4 tyre treads, further tyre tread fine tuning for GT3 and cart rental tyres, Porsche Cup revised aero, adjusted default diff settings, setup reset re recommended, fixed damage warning glitch on various cars by temporarily adding dummy brakes to all wheels, front brakes are fixed but don't actually provide any torque in car 125, GX390 and rental, proper fix and brake temperature readings in cars with more than one disc brake to follow in the next update. Disabled hard compound for Group C, minor adjustment to stock car V8, P3, P4 tyre tread, minor bob adjustment to GTE, GT3, GT4 classes, fixed bug in M4 suspension triggering non-existing fast dampers, revised brakes on GT4 cars, increased diffuser downforce for Genesa G55, minor McLaren 720S GT3 aero revisions, minor front splitter adjustments for Genesis G55 and Camaro GT4R, corrected fuel tank sizes for GTE cars, Cadillac DPI and BMW M4, corrected BMW M4 steering rotation and ratio, Disabled onboard roll bar adjustments for Cadillac DPI and enabled for the MCR2000. Revised aero in GTE, GT3, Cup and GT4 Porsches. Revised under tray aero in stock car 2020-2021 models. Adjusted engine inertia for CAR, Genetta G55, AJR Chevy. Corrected restrictor plate limiting power output in the AJR Chevy. Corrected M8 front right tyre pressure. Fixed error removing all packers in default setup of former retros or models. Setup reset recommended. Adjusted FFB Max Force for BMW M4, M6 and M8. P1, GT3, GT4, Formula Retro, AI calibration. Slightly improved AI performance on brakes on wet, trank, uh, wet track for tin tops. Audio. Added more engine limiter samples. Wet skid scrub volume lowered. Adjusted a rumble strip sound. Tracks. Donington Park. Fixed AI leaving the garage hitting the door frame. Long Beach. Add pit lane cut block at pit exit. Speedland. Updated adverts. Laguna Seca. Updated curb textures. Londrina. More performance tuning. Santa Cruz. Fix hiding pit building roof tent. Whatever that is. Taruma, minor art and performance pass. Villa Park, minor art and performance pass. Vehicles, Cadillac DPI VR, fixed cockpit mesh issue. 
Formula Ultimate fixed display time delta. Stock car 2020 cruise fixed front grille material issue. Camaro GT4R added four new liveries. Now, here endeth the reading. Um, yeah, let me chuck it over there and just have a quick mouthful. Now I've um, <coughs> that didn't help a lot. Hopefully everything's um, up and working again. Um, uh, we had a multiplayer race <coughs> with the Caterhams uh, yesterday, and my machine froze twice, once in a practice session, uh, and once at the end of the race when we were waiting for everybody to finish, so a little bit of ESO, I did a, a full let's get rid of everything and start from scratch, which of course meant taking lots of pictures of all my settings and going, I'll just recreate everything. Which is a bit of an arse, but uh, if it helps cure any problems, then that's a good idea to uh, do it once in a while anyway. Right, what I was going to do is um, have a look at the BMW M4. Now, we'll have a look at the available deliveries. There's quite a few. Um, some are more interesting than, <laughs> than others. God, that's horrible, isn't it? So, um, yeah, uh, don't choose that one. But yeah, the um, <sighs> weird. <laughs> I don't know who designs these, but I thought they said grind work initially. Yes. So we'll stick with the um, sort of officially looking BMW color scheme. Now, um, in terms of track, we're going to have a look around the Nürburgring, and we're going to set it to what hopefully is winter, going for the first of February. Uh, with clear weather, and I think I might actually just try going back a little bit to sort of, sort of 20th of Jan, maybe. Hopefully this works reasonably well. I'm trying to get a nice compromise, so <coughs> the sun's up a little bit, so it gives some nice shadowing and nice lighting effects. But also, so you can see, like there's this nice sort of ground mist effect they've got which doesn't seem to be related to the weather per se. It's just at certain times, at certain times of the day, you can see the ground mist. And if you go too late in the day or too early in the day, you either get not enough light, too much light. And it's trying to find a, a sort of right compromise. I haven't really driven this car and track combo, so I might look a complete plonger, but hopefully I've done this as a one lap race. This is the race session, not the practice, isn't it? Tell me yes. If it's not, I'm going to be going bullocks, 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 bullocks. As opposed to be talking bullocks, bullocks, bullocks. Hey, we're on a right start. Now, hopefully this looks alright. Like I said, I've, <coughs> I've done very little in the way of driving on this car, so I might make a complete and I'd have twat on myself trying to drive this. But um, hopefully you'll be going, oh, that looks really nice and all oh, that feels really nice. Um, I'll just turn on the BS off. Now, like I said, I have completely redone everything, and uh, hopefully you can see the sort of mist floating around, and it looks really amazing. There you go, bit of mistiness, and also you should hopefully be able to hear the uh, slightly different. Um, Tire scrub noises that are in now, which are not everybody's cup of tea, possibly, but you have to remember one very important point about tire noises, and that is that of the sensors you use whilst driving that's um, sight, feel, and sound the one with the shortest path between input and your brain actually going, Oh, hang on, something's happening, is actually your hearing. So, oh, it's a bit bouncy there. So um, it's important to uh, make sure you make use of all those sounds. So if you turn the tire noises down and going, oh, they're bloody horrible, they do communicate a lot and you should be able to react to them quite quickly. So if you're, especially on braking, if you sort of, if you can hear the brakes 
skittering and all the tyres skittering over the tarmac as you're braking. You should also be able to see on the uh, hills in various places a bit of snow up the top there. I'm not sure if the lights are on on this car or not, and I'm not sure it would actually make a lot of difference. I don't know if it's too dark, because if it's too dark, it's going to look really horrible. But the car itself uh, is pretty good. I'm not exactly pushing to the limit because uh, the tyres are staying bloody cold. Not surprisingly, considering it's a uh, silly temperature outside, presumably. And what I'll basically do is I'll do the one lap and you can have a look at how nice it looks. And uh, as you can see, the, uh, the, sort of, the trees are all nicely defoliated. Uh, there's a sort of bit of snow here and there. <coughs> I'm losing my voice again. And um, it all looks really nice. I to, whoop. I don't know what I got the traction control set on. Uh, I thought it defaulted to uh, maximum, but I might be wrong. So basically, I've just I've just jumped in it and driven it. So, oh my god, I'm being blinded. Yeah, car's feeling good. It's looking absolutely stunning. Like I said, I've reset everything, so hopefully I got my FF being sort of more or less right. It feels alright. Certainly giving me lots of uh, info about what's going on. It probably doesn't help that I am sweating like a pig, because it's sort of like 28 bloody degrees or something steeper in here. There again, it should be like, you know, a bit of chirping from the tyres as they joyously went, that's my limit! But I should have ABS on anyway, so it should, as it's got default ABS anyway, it's a factory option. That's some nice... Keep looking up there and seeing what's come through the trees and all that sunshine and nearly missing the corner. Um, hmm. but yeah, it looks lovely. Obviously, Completely different looking to uh, <coughs> the uh, ooh, how it was before, with uh, lots of very green foliage. This probably isn't going to be a particularly quick lap because, like I said, I've hardly driven the car, and I haven't been around here for a day or two. So, Whoa, some interesting god rays coming across the top of the hill back there. I said what I'll do is I will uh, save the replay at the end of the lap and uh, add the uh, thing up in the corner. I know a lot of people are complaining about the M4 GT sounds. Uh, M M3 GT4? M4 GT3? No. Whatever, whatever the bloody car is we're driving at the moment, the, um, the sound's being a bit sort of electrical, sort of, not electrical, um, sort of, um, electronically generated if you like, a bit, sort of, um, but the thing is the real car sounds fucking horrible anyway, it's, it really does sound like this, haven't seen some genuine onboards and you're thinking it's just like, I don't know what it is, it's just got that sort of synthesised sound, but it isn't, it's genuine sample and it's just, it sounds like that, really. If anything, this actually doesn't sound quite as bad as the real thing from a couple of onboards, I say. And the reason I'm not pushing too hard is I want to get to the end of the lap without killing myself. Sweat dripping off my brow. <clears throat> I'm not even trying. I 
and it is that sort of uh, time with the lighting where it's actually quite difficult to see where the hell you're going, which doesn't help, so a bit early on the brakes there. What I might do, um, <clears throat> when I'm feeling a little less hot and bothered, um, is um, do a few laps, um, sort of one for each season, if you like, around somewhere like um, Spa. Sudden brain. Couldn't keep up with thinking there. Um, try something like Spa and do like a lap in each season and cut it all together with off boards and everything and that castle does look stunning up there doesn't it? Of course this is a seven speed gearbox and seven's about as much use as a chocolate fire guard so Oh yeah I'm not pushing. Definitely not pushing. And there you have a lap around the really amazing looking. I'm not going to do a full cool down lap. I have to say that does look really, really nice. All the shadowing looks great. Colours. Uh, across the horizon there we've got this nice sort of pinky glow almost turning orange at various times looks stunning skip the cooldown lap view the replay save the replay save the replay I'm not going to show it now and oh I forgot to actually have a look in the um, showroom didn't I so we'll have a quick we'll have a quick spin in the showroom just to finish it off but yeah, nice looking car, nice lines. Lovely model, with of course the P0s because it's the GT3 stroke 4 which run Pirelli tyres as opposed to the GTEs which will be on Michelin. But overall, I think that's a nice addition to the GT4 class, fleshes it out a bit more. And um, it's of course the M4 GT4, isn't it? Get too many threes, fours. There'll be a s oh, there. Is there another M4? Or is it a new M3 GT4 car? Or is it the M4 GT3? Too many cars. But there we go. A uh, very quick look at um, uh, a bit of winter foliage or lack of foliage around the uh, North Cliff in the new very nice addition to the GT4 class and um, that's enough sweat from me for one day I'll uh, leave you with that and uh, I'll see you soon goodbye enjoy your racing etc etc